Thursday, uh, January 5th, and it's right now negative 3 degrees. Last night, apparently, it got to a negative 18. Big Sky, Montana got to negative 26, according to a uh, Facebook post I saw on my friend's uh, screenshot of his Verizon iPhone 7. So anyway, um, I'm heading in to meet Ralph again. Uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, we meet at Starbucks uh, before he goes and visits his family in Columbia Falls. So that'll be uh, exciting for me right now because I think the world of him. And uh, I'm driving. This is what I see. Okay, I'm heading in. Oh my gosh, there's my mom's friend. Okay, let me let me see if I can. Hi there. How's it going? Do you mind being on my video blog? Since you're my mom's since you're my mom's best friend, do you mind being on my mom's oh, video blog? Oh, that's fine. What do you think of the weather? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> oh gosh, are you getting uh, the food that you need there? Yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay. And uh, the bus. The bus. I'm waiting for the bus. Oh, gosh. It'll be here in a little bit. So you're okay without gloves? I've got gloves in my pocket. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Yeah. See you. Bye. Hi, Ralph. Good morning. Ooh. What do you think of the uh, weather? If you don't mind, uh, you're on it's the block. Cool. Oh. <laughs> What's that? Well, I don't know where Kim Baker lives, but she, this morning she told me she's up at 1 o'clock and it's 21 degrees below zero. 21 degrees below zero. Okay, so it's definitely not. When I got up, it was, uh, the internet so it's five below. It's five below, okay. Six o'clock. I, uh, well, good. You have a little Starbucks coffee. This is good. I'm going to go get my coffee now, too. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> good. So here I am. I'm leaving uh, the Starbucks and uh, trying to make sense of this uh, Arctic front that is uh, taking over our wonderful town. And it just adds the character that uh, this town was founded on. Going to work out. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Some legs. Cardio. And stretching out. Needed. Hi there. Hi. Thank you. Yep. And I'm here at the club doing cardio and it feels good. Whoa. Good workout, good workout. Heading out in the cold. Legs and cardio and it's always a great way for me to listen to my Spotify account music and uh, just get in a zone. And it's been another really unique day. Um, again, I keep saying the thing about cold here in Montana. It's real and uh, no matter what, tomorrow I'm gonna fly. I mean, tomorrow's the 6th of uh, January and I'm going to fly. Um, one of the things I uh, discussed earlier in a previous video was my um, iPad and uh, the uh, iPad Pro. And this thing is just an incredible piece of equipment in terms of my creative expression because it allows me to not only be able to sketch and write and draw, I can also um, put myself in a position to create music from it as well through a MIDI soundboard. I'm booting it up right now, so I'll explain that really quick since this is going to be a huge part of my uh, existence as it relates to vlogging uh, in the 2017 calendar year. Alrighty, so once this boots up I will uh, log in and I will go to the uh, GarageBand and give a couple demonstrations of what I'm talking about here. This is the uh, program itself. And uh, I'll go like this. And uh, so these are the different uh, styles of music I can uh, choose from. And uh, so we got uh, EDM, uh, hip hop, dubstep, R&B, house, chill, uh, rock, uh, electro funk, uh, beat masher. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what any of this stuff really means. EDM. I don't even know what that stands for. Hip hop. Um, blah blah blah. So, so let's go uh, rock, just since that's something that's kind of a little bit more. So it kind of looks like a, a Kino machine from a Montana lottery situation. Um, so let's uh, turn this up. So you can point to the different places. But. It's up to you to create the variation to allow the uh, different type of uh, sound. Um, um, so there's really, all they are is pre-done loops that are, let me shut this off now. 
Um, so they're pre-done loops, but you actually choose the order in which it makes sequential sense in the timeline of the video. So in my case, where I'm doing different uh, time-lapse videos and different videos of any kind, I uh, actually create the video first, and then I use like a line selection tool, which is a way I actually, in my uh, post-editing process, whatever, I actually create that fast, you know, um, video sequence. And once I do that, I look at it a couple times, I study it, and then I actually <laughs> go back and I set this down like this in front of my laptop, and I'm actually able to uh, create sound uh, that I think makes uh, lyrical or audible sense as it relates to the video that's being shown. So that's uh, kind of an interesting feature. Um, with, uh, with the new update of the uh, GarageBand, which allows all these different loops to uh, happen, it makes you... Sounds pretty good. Okay, enough of that. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for me to uh, not have to worry about copyright uh, strikes in YouTube. Um, so you can actually kind of, I can create my own sounds. All right, there's that. And another thing I use to organize myself every day is this right here. It's a, well, it's a notepad. It's kind of a sketchbook I got at Michael's Arts and Crafts. It's really cool because it's the only way I'm going to be able to keep organized with my daily, uh, you know, vision <laughs> as to what to do and how to do it. That's it so far. Now, uh, tomorrow's the 6th of uh, January, and I don't care what. I'm just going to go out and fly regardless because I'm just dying to do it. All right, thanks.